I don't have any kids. I'm still trying to practice not how to be a scary parent and not how to be the helicopter parent. And this is why. I grew up unsupervised. So every time you guys think I'm doing something stupid, oh, who the fuck taught him, all this and all that, I taught me. I don't think it's stupid. I think it's going to help me get shit done. If you want to correct me, please do, but don't do it too aggressively to the point where I want to kill you. And something like that comes like, hey, move the fuck out of my way, you dumb son of a bitch. You the fuck you even tell you. This is how you spoke. I don't even fucking want to be around your goddamn ass. I'm going to fuck you in this goddamn mud. I'd rather fucking shoot you and stuff. Fuck you. But people don't always want to take into thought and consideration that not everybody's blessed enough to have educators, teachers, mentors. People are patient. And because I didn't grow up in an environment where I had to learn how to fucking sell drugs and fucking work with them. Like, I know how to work people, but I don't do it for the manipulation. I do it just to get away from the conversation and not hopefully start a fight. Because some people just want to fight. Some people stumble into fights. Some people have no accountability for the things that they say, so they start a fight on accident because they're being too wordy. And I'm just like, eh, if I don't say it too much, it's not going to start a fight. But then there's some people, oh, you think you're too good to talk to? Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, fuck Mr. and Mrs. Macho with their goddamn ego. Now I got to fucking... Just because I was in there, and now am I the asshole because I fight back? Am I the fucking pussy because I run away? Am I the fucking freak because I let this bug live? I don't know what it is, but it's far away from where the fuck I am. And because I remember that, and I'll always remember my childhood years, even though I don't remember them all that well, I'm going to want to make sure my kid doesn't deal with half the shit that I had to deal with. So I'm going to teach my kid not only how to conversate, how to fight, but I also do realize life got a lot of unfair weight classes. If I got to daddy paying other kids to protect my kid, damn, you, what, you the star quarterback? Damn, what, you the star linebacker, wide receiver? I just know football players are built different. So, like, I promise you, if you don't do it, I'll pay that farmer kid because they're built different, too. I just chose you because you and them kind of have the same type of popularity. So, if you guys are hanging out with each other, it kind of makes sense. But, like, I'll pay the farmer kid twice as much. Just because I know that farmer kid making money as it is. You doing this shit for free. You hoping you get a scholarship. That farmer boy, ooh, that motherfucker got jobs for days. So I'll pay you to watch over my child. Any fight that you get into, I'll pay you extra for one. And shit, I'll even get you a gift for losing, but attempting to stand up with my child and help my child make it through. Because I remember when I was a child, I had to deal with all my own shit. And I was psychotic enough to deal with it, but now I have to dial back the psychotic shit to belong in society. And I don't want to teach my child how to be a dex. And I definitely don't want my child turn out to be Joe Goldberg or whatever the fuck his name is. So do me a favor, little buddy. I'll give you mm, 200 bucks a month. And a $75 bonus for every fight that you win. And how about this? I'll buy you footballs and new gloves every time you lose a fight. But you attempted to keep my son safe. So, how'd that deal work for you? Because ain't no price too expensive to keep my life safe. And my life kind of extends down to this little thing too. Because it's part of my legacy. The time and energy I put into this. I don't want to have a bad investment because it's society. So, thank you, little man. Thank you for keeping my child safe from the monsters.